a political revolution. Bernie Sanders' so-called political revolution in 2016 put socialism on the national stage for the first time in decades. And this year, Democratic Socialist candidates like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez from New York have found surprising success. It wasn't long ago that socialism was considered a dirty word in American politics, conjuring up images of the old Soviet Union. But in 2018... It's very hard to point to what exactly socialism means because it's been interpreted in different places and in different times in such dramatically different ways. What's happened in Venezuela, a socialist country run by a dictator, has evolved into one of the worst economic disasters in history. Just look at these pictures filmed for Inside Your World earlier this month in the capital city, Caracas. People are eating garbage and scrounging through trash for anything of value. This group of young men wading into the sewage-infested river, hunting for pieces of gold and silver in the sludge. And if you're lucky enough to have money in the bank here, the lines to withdraw cash run around the block, and there's no guarantee you'll get any. But Venezuela is the extreme. Half a world away in northern Europe, the form of socialism they've adopted is much different. These are rich capitalist countries with a social safety net and high taxes. The northern European social democratic countries are a very good step in the right direction, but they aren't fully socialist. Maria Svart is the national director of the Democratic Socialists of America, and she says membership is skyrocketing. Consider this. A new poll suggests nearly half of all millennial Democrats now identify as socialists or democratic socialists. So millennials know the system is not working. And so millennials have a, a different, they're not afraid of the socialist boogeyman. About 15 years ago, Brazil took a turn to the left, embracing social democratic policies. We traveled there, and some of the people we met told us everyone should be afraid of socialism. What has socialism done to Brazil? It has broken Brazil. Journalist Felipe Mora Brasil lived through Brazil's socialist left-wing policies and said they eventually became unsustainable. Because it's too much and we can't afford it. Just a few years ago, Brazil was on the brink of becoming a global superpower. Now it is a country in crisis. For Inside Your World, I'm Jonathan Elias.